The United States President missed Bill Clinton's statement at a press conference in Washington this Tuesday about his plans to ask the Congress to show some flexibility on the Pressler Amendment so as to facilitate some economic and military cooperation with Pakistan seemed to threaten the existing strategic balance in South Asia. That Mr. Clinton unraveled his plan during the visit of the Pakistan Prime Minister, Ms. Benazir Bhutto, led to obvious concerns in India. It only reconfirms Pakistan's uh, constant drive for uh, nuclear weapons. Uh, what it uh, does show certainly also is that in spite of this knowledge, the United States is still willing to uh, bypass its own laws on non-proliferation. Uh, what it shows is that uh, Pakistan, United States is ready to condone and legitimize uh, Pakistan's nuclear weapon program. Well, I would like to the Pressler Amendment, amendment is named after Senator Larry Pressler, who was chiefly instrumental in the passage of this amendment in the United States Congress. In 1990, the then United States President, Mr. George Bush, had refused to certify Pakistan as a non-nuclear weapon state. This had led to the stoppage of the U.S. military aid to Pakistan. If as a result of the waiver or further amendment of the Pressler Amendment, Pakistan is provided with F-16s, then it would increase the threat percept and India will have to take necessary measures to ensure that its security is not endangered. Seen in the context of Pakistan Prime Minister Ms. Benazir Bhutto's reluctant admission that Islamabad is building a second reactor to produce plutonium, the efforts by Pakistan to import nuclear know-how have strengthened India's position that the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty or NPT has failed to check clandestine transfer of nuclear technology. From the various accounts available to many other countries including India, that Pakistan's nuclear pro program is geared towards manufacturing weapons. The recent revelation demonstrates that in addition to the uranium route, now they are exploring the possibilities of using plutonium for manufacturing nuclear weapons. Of uh, nuclear weapons, we want a total elimination and that is why late Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi gave an action plan where the treaty should be renegotiated on the basis of multilaterality with the objective of universally verifiable mechanism and ultimately to eliminate nuclear weapons within a definitive time frame. Analysts point out that the Pressler Amendment has so far been able to maintain a semblance of check on the legitimization of Pakistan's unending pursuit of nuclear weapons. It has also kept the geopolitical balance in South Asia. However, the repeal or even one-time waiver of the Pressler Amendment to enable Pakistan to acquire weaponry far disproportionate to its genuine defense requirements has the potential of distorting the security environment in the region. It creates the conditions once again where weapons will have to come in in significant numbers. More important is that it signifies uh, return of the US-Pakistan strategic relationship. Now that has implications not just for India but that has implications much more for the Persian Gulf. The recent developments have once again posed some questions on the regional security, which analysts believe Indian diplomacy must seek answers for.